Hey, what's up guys, Tacticholics here. I'm now on the dangerous side of the camera with Travis from Regstead Outdoors. I guess now I'm gonna learn how to wield that thing. Wield, yes. Camoed out, we got green things on the back of the arrows. Nice. There's a bubble level and there's a pin that's glowing at me. I'm really excited about this. Um, I will tell you that I shot a bow <laughs> one time in my life. I was 17, I shot one arrow out of it. I hit the general target and never touched one since, but I thought it was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to take some instruction from you. So we're gonna be shooting from, what, about 20 yards? This is your first time. We'll probably go about 10 yards. Just make sure we find the arrow. <laughs> All right, man, let's, uh, let's do it. Cock it and lock it. There you go. You sure that's not too close? <laughs> this so feels really nothing. weird, man. It feels so, really weird. There's three fletchings and an arrow. Okay. There's a hen and a cock. Okay. That's you, what it's called. Are you lying to me? No, not at all. All right, then. Your cock vein is always up. And now <laughs> you're ready to shoot. It's ready if you're ready. Okay, so I hook this onto the loop. Yep. And like hook that. It, yep, and then you draw with your finger behind the trigger. Okay. And, and this is my peep sight, right? And yep. that'll level out uh, as I draw back. It'll flip up into position. Right. I basically line the sights up like a pistol, yep. or like a ghost ring sight on a shotgun. So you yep. want to put the front pin dead center, uh, up and down, left, right, in the peep sight as, as once you're drawn back. Correct. Okay. So push pull. Okay. Now bring your nose to that string where you can see through that peep. Okay. That's a bullseye. That is a bullseye. <laughs> That's wow. a bullseye. Probably not the right target he aimed at, but it's a bullseye. I was just aiming at the box. <laughs> so how's my stance look um, when I'm shooting? Uh, so you said about shoulder width apart, and I want to turn this front foot at about two o'clock. Correct. My draw, I mean, any, any feedback you can give me, did it look like I was fighting? I mean, I felt it bounce once I got the the string all the way back and you said this is uh, 60 pounds right now yep so you could probably you could probably shoot with higher poundage right how do you eliminate that bounce because when I brought it back that's just the draw stops okay. so when you come back it'll bounce and then that's when you can bring your bring your um, nose to the string so okay so the draw stops I mean there's quite a bit of adjustment a couple inches on there and that just adjusts the length of pull basically correct okay I hit it again. Very nice. This is cool, man. How far can we go? With that sight, we could probably get to 60 today if you'd like. I think we, I like. I like. You right. like? I like. Let's do it. Let's do it. the same spot so he hit it twice at 50 yards not too far from the bullseye let's run down there with the camera take a look at it this is fun <laughs> I knew you'd like it <laughs> at least two arrows were mine and again this this bow was sighted in for 20 yards so moving it out to 50 we kind of guesstimated but we hit all four times. It was fun and funny to watch Steve shoot for the first time, but he did it and I was actually surprised of how he did. So <laughs> before we know it, he's going to have a bow. All right, guys, there you have it. We pushed the bow and arrows back to a solid 50, I think. Uh, I didn't miss. I didn't hit anything that I wasn't supposed to hit. Um, nobody got impaled. It was a good, safe day. Uh, Travis from Regstead Outdoors, big. Thank you to coming out and, and doing this stuff with us, teaching me about this stuff. Uh, as I said before, guys, it's a lot like shooting a gun in the capacity that it's a very athletic um, series of movements. I mean, you have to be precise and, and body control and stuff like that. Uh, I shouldn't talk like I'm an expert because I'm 
not that good. I just got lucky a few times, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, I can definitely see how people get addicted to this. So uh, let's take a second here. Uh, Travis is working on his own YouTube channel. Um, I've known you for quite a while and you've been into archery for a long time. All I've heard from everybody that knows you is that this is what you do, man. You eat, breathe, sleep. Uh, archery um, so go ahead and plug yourself what, what's going on in your YouTube channel sure so I started a YouTube channel about uh, probably four or five months ago now just doing archery reviews uh, went to a local shop and took all the bows off the shelf for the new year and shot them and just been having fun with it so hopefully you liked what you saw here and we'll be hopefully doing more videos together for sure but if you like what you saw and you know, want to get into archery or anything else, hop over to my YouTube channel of Ragstead Outdoors and subscribe. Follow Ragstead Outdoors on Facebook and yeah, thank you guys for watching. We had a good day. Yep, we'll put links to all that stuff down below. You on Instagram? Nope. You gotta get on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. You're on Twitter. All right. So Ragstead Outdoors, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The links to all that stuff will be down below, and you will see Travis again on our channel. We got one last target to shoot, and then we're packing up the cameras. So this wraps up the very first archery video on Tactaholics, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and we never quit. That last target we talked about is right down there. We got the Tac Strike, Fat Boy Full Size Steel Silhouette set up. Don't try this at home. Well, there it is. The fat boy won again. Really frayed out the, the arrow. The field tip is gone. And your knock is gone. But your cock is there. <laughs> it is there. And it's still up. <laughs> fat boy wins again. We'll see you next time, guys. We never quit.